Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Liz Eckelkamp and I'm the Dairy Specialist in the Department of Animal Science at the University of Tennessee. This video is part of a study series focused on dairy-related topics for Skillathon. This episode will focus on identifying and labeling parts of a dairy cow. Dairy cattle have over 40 external body parts that we can label, but for the beginner dairy curriculum we will focus on 17. They are the pole, muzzle, throat, neck, withers, heart girth, hip, udder, chine, loin, rump, tail head, hock, knee, dew claw, hoof, and switch. Let's start at the front of the cow and work our way back. The first part we'll identify and label is the pole. The pole is where horns grow from, unless your cow is naturally born without horns or pulled. Next is the muzzle, or what we may think of as the nose. The muzzle is a combination of the nose and the mouth. The throat is located under the cow's head. Be careful not to confuse the throat with the neck, which we will show by the arrow pointing to the broad side of the neck, not a specific point under the head. Moving down the cow, we'll stop at the withers. The withers are the sharp point where the neck meets the body of the cow. When we are measuring heifer growth, we'll use wither height and hip height to get an accurate height for the heifer. Next is the heart girth. The heart girth is an imaginary line drawn from right behind the withers and down behind the front legs. The heart lies behind the heart girth line, which gives it its name. Another imaginary line is called the barrel. This line gives, this line gives us an idea of her capacity to hold feed. Next, we'll talk about the top line of the cow and the different sections we break it into. First is the chine. The chine is part of the back and extends from the withers to the barrel. Behind the chine, we have the loin. The loin extends from the barrel to the hips. The last part is the rump. The rump, ex the rump extends from the hips to the end of the cow. Next is the tail head, or where the tail comes out of the main body of the cow. The other part of the tail we will identify is the switch. Think of the switch kind of like the hair on your head. The switch grows out of the end of the tail and is much longer than the rest of the hair on a cow. This switch has been washed and brushed to appear full and fluffy. Next is the udder. This is the money maker of the dairy cow. It is easily identifiable on an adult dairy cow. The udder is still located in the same place on a heifer, although it will be much smaller and not really visible without looking harder for it. We'll end with identifying parts of the leg of the cow. We'll start with the front leg and identify the knee. Even though our knees are on our back legs, the front legs of a dairy cow bend the same way our knees do. On the back leg, we'll identify the hock. The hock is where the back legs of the cow bend, kind of like our elbows. Cows have four hooves, and you may be asked to identify any of them. The hoof is the hard structure cows walk on and grows kind of like our fingernails do. Finally, we'll label the dew claw. These are also on all four legs. You may be asked to identify these parts by having numbers pointing to each area like this, or just by having arrows pointing to the sections of the body be comfortable understanding the external anatomy of dairy cows. As part of your beginner dairy project, you can make a video of you identifying these structures on a cow of your own, a stuffed animal, or a pet. Stay tuned for some examples of each. Hey everybody, I'm doing this video as a way to show you how you can do labeling for your own 4-H project portfolio without having a live animal present. Now, I live in the middle of a city in Knoxville, so I don't have a cow in my backyard that I can go out and do this labeling on. So instead, I have an assistant. This is my assistant. We're gonna call her Moobel. I don't know why, that's just the name I came up with right now. So we're gonna label the parts of Moobel using her in place of a real cow. So first off, I'm gonna to point to her pole. As you can see, Moobel is not pulled and has horns coming out of her pole. Next place I'm going to identify is her muzzle, which is right here. Yeah, I have a mixture of her nose and her mouth. Next thing I'm going to point to is Moobel's throat, which is right here. And that is going to be different from Moobel's neck, which is going to be this piece right along the side here. Her withers are going to be located right here, the point of where her neck meets her shoulder. 
Next, we're gonna look at her heart curve. Now remember, that's the imaginary line that runs from right behind her withers down behind the front of her legs. So that is her heart curve, that imaginary line right there. Next thing I'm gonna do is label the parts on her back. First off is gonna be her chine. So from right about the point of the withers to about her midline or where that barrel would be. The next thing we're gonna do is the loin. So from the middle to right about where her hips are and her hip is gonna be right here. Now her rump is gonna be from her hip to the back of her, the rest of her. So here's her rump. Next thing we're gonna do is her tail head and you can see her tail head is right here. And here is her switch. Hers is also nice and fluffy. Moobell does not actually have an udder, but if she did, it would be located right here. She does have a knee on this front leg right here, as well as a hock on her back leg. Here is her hoof, and if she had dew claws, they would be located right here. So I hope that helps explain how we would do this if we were using a stuffed animal instead of a live animal to upload this for your 4-H project program. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Liz Eckelkamp and I'm the Dairy Specialist at the University of Tennessee and my assistant today is me, my puppy, Mina. So I don't have enough room to have a dairy cow in my backyard. Y'all can see it's kind of small. So instead of labeling the parts on a dairy cow, I'm going to show you how to label the parts on a family pet. Now Mina does not have all the same parts as a dairy cow, but we're still going to point to where they would be and move on from there. First off, we're going to start with the pole, then we'll move on to the muzzle. Next is going to be her throat and her neck. We're going to keep moving backwards and we're going to get to her withers. And then remember we have that imaginary line that runs from right behind the withers all the way down behind the front leg and that's going to be her heart girth. Along the points of the back from her withers to right about where her midline would be we have the chine. From the midpoint to her hips which are right here we have the loin and from the hips to the end of her we have the rump. We also have her tail head and where her switch would be. Now she doesn't have an udder, but if she did, it'd be located right here in between the back legs. She would also have a knee and a hock, just like a dairy cow would. And if we move a little bit further down, we get to where her hoofs would be. And we can see on her front leg that she does have a dew claw. So I hope that explains how you would label the parts of a family pet. And big thanks to Mina for being quite so still during this take. Thanks everyone, have a good day. That wraps up our explanation of labeling the external anatomy of a dairy cow. I wish you the best of luck as you progress through your dairy project. Please let me know if I can ever be of assistance. Thank you and have a great day.